Hi, I'm Rebecca Page and welcome to this Table Tent Sew Along. Over the series of videos, we are going to be sewing together to make the most adorable house-themed table tent. In a moment, I'm going to show you around my finished table tent so you can see all of the options you have to pick from. First though, a few housekeeping items. You are going to need the pattern. Please click on the link in your email or on this page to get yours. Once you have the pattern, you will need to decide what options you are going to sew. You can either sew a plain table tent that is literally four walls and a door, or you can go all out and sew it fully decorated. You can also make this for any size, shape, or table, or any size or shape table, rectangular, square, oval, circle, big, small, it's up to you. After you've picked your options, you'll then need to print the pattern and there are instructions in the pattern for how to do this. Then start with the first video and sew along. The sew along is split into segments so you can watch the options, just the options that you're doing. What I do recommend though is watching all the way through the first step so that you can get a feel for the techniques we use, even if you don't do the options in the first step. That way you can go through the rest, pick and choose what you wanna do and do it at your own pace. You can do it in just a couple of sittings and go all out, or you can spread it over a few weeks and make it last as long as you want, it's up to you. The last instruction is to make sure you join the RP Sew Alongs group on Facebook. You'll find the link in your welcome email and also on this page. This is where you can see questions and inspirations from all of the other people who have done this exact sew along too. Ask your questions, get help, and post your progress photos. We love seeing them and we love knowing how you're getting on. So please do post in that group and show us how you're doing. Now, on to the options. So this is the tent. The tent itself is fully lined. There are four walls and a roof that goes on the top of the table on the outside. And then on the inside, there are four interior walls plus a roof lining that is underneath here. There are instructions in your pattern on how to measure your table so that the roof and wall pieces match it exactly. And you can make this tent for literally any size table. Card table, dining table, office table, any square or rectangle table. There's even instructions on how to do it circular or oval. The decorations themselves are modular. You can either follow along exactly as per this design, or you can pick and choose what goes where. If you've got a small square card table, you might skip these front windows and just do the door and the letterbox on the front. It is totally up to you. What I recommend you do is you print the pattern pieces and then lay them out on your walls and decide what will go where so you can pick which decorations. Now, I'm gonna show you all of the options you have to pick from and you can then get to choosing what you're going to make. This here is the front. You can see there is a door, which is the only essential part of the tent other than the walls and the roof. There is also some roof trim running along the top that's those scalloped bits. And then you've got two different windows, well, they're two the same windows, um, a letterbox, some cute little dandelions, which are hand stitched over here, and um, a pot and a butterfly. When you then look at the windows themselves, these have optional um, uh, see-through. This is like a vinyl, um, uh, I guess it's, yeah, it's a, I, I think it's a, it's a plastic that you can sew through. Um, anything that you use for boat windows or tent windows, that's the kind of thing to look for. I ordered some scraps online and there were enough to, um, to do these windows out of. Or you can leave the windows open or you could have them so that they are um, covered over. The one thing that is movable on the outside is this letterbox. Uh, which flaps down if you wanted to make things to slot into it, um, you could, uh, but that's that's the little movable bit on the outside. And then the door rolls up as well. This is one side of it. You can put the sides on either, on either side, obviously. Um, and this is the, what we call the window box side. You've got a little hedgehog and a snail at the bottom, a couple of sunflowers, 
some flowers and a bumblebee and again the roof trim. This is what we call the garage side and you'll see why in a moment. There's a little caterpillar at the bottom, two lights and a ladybird and then if I lift this up it's because there's a car in the garage um, or I'm not sure you might call it a carport garage, depends where you live I guess. Um, uh, the car doesn't do anything, um, but this does lift up and down and it rolls and attaches in these little, um, uh, these little um, ties here so that you can keep it rolled up or rolled down. Now, before we go in, I want to show you some of the ways you can finish this. You can either have it finished like so, where it is um, literally open on all four corners so your children can go in and out of the door or in and out of a side. Um, or the second option is down the bottom here, you can have little ties, which then would tie together in a bow, or you could make them out of hook and loop or Velcro um, to, to hold them there, or to even tie them around the, the leg of the chair if you want them to not move. Then lastly, on the back, you've got, um, I've kept this pretty simple, uh, but if your table is in the middle of a room, you might wanna do decoration on the back. Uh, there is a mouse, a little spider and a doggy. It is adorable. Or the third finishing option is to stitch down the corners like so, so that they are either machine or hand stitched together and they don't open. And then this is the door done up so that we can start going inside. So I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna show you all of this being an adult trying to show you underneath the table, uh, but I will do my best. This is the kitchen at the back. Um, you will see there are various things that are removable in the kitchen. It's the area with the most removable items. And each of these kitchen units is modular. So if you are using a card table, for example, you might only want to do, say, the fridge and the oven and miss out the drawers and the sink. Um, or if you are doing a really large table, you might like to do this and add a table on the side. It's up to you how big your house is inside. Now, the drawers don't do anything, but you can choose to use buttons or fabric for them. Uh, the pie and the pot and these little spatulas, um, they do come off, so you can take them off and play with them. And then now I'm actually in the tent with you, so I hope the audio is okay. Um, this is the freezer part of the fridge. It does open and each of these little items pulls off so the kids can play with them. They can put things in the oven. They can put them in the fridge. They can put them in the freezer. Um, this is the fridge here. You've got bread, milk, sauce, various um, uh, carrots, onions, grapes, watermelon, eggs, a cake. <laughs> a cake is a favorite for going in the oven. Then on this side here, you have the bath. Now, um, let's see if I can show you this. There's various little items on the corner here, which you can remove. Um, and then there is the bath itself with a shower head attachment. Coming around to the other side of the kitchen, there is a dining room. And underneath the dining room chair, which I think is a little bit long for my table, is a cute little cat and a stack of books. And there's so many things you could customize yourself. You could put their favorite books. They might be into murder mysteries or Harry Potters or all kinds of things. Whatever your children who are gonna be using this love, you can customize it and put it in. All of these little curtains do undo um, so that you can then um, shut the curtain. And then now that I'm all the way under the table, I'll show you that there is a bed on this side with a miniature of our unicorn pillow um, that you can sew for um, uh, large for reals if you want to. And then the bed on the other side has a teddy and a little window. And that's it. That's my tent that I've made with all of the options. So you can either remember you can do just a plain tent or you can do something with just a few of the options, or you can go all out and do the whole one. Have a look and see how big the table is that you're gonna be putting your table tent on. Measure it, cut out those pattern pieces, pop them on, and have a little look at what options you wanna do. And then once you've decided, you can cut out and dive into the first video. Have fun, and I can't wait to see what you make.